doing? Umar Ahmed, IFL TV, MTK Global, I'm post fight with uh, Lewis Isaac and his trainer Glenn McCrory. Um, go to you first, Lewis. Assessment of that, please, firstly. Yeah, all good, all good. First six round out of the way. Uh, good performance. Okay, and from a trainer's point of view? Yes, um, more improvement. Uh, more improvement. I, I like what he did. He's, he's relaxing more. The rounds suit him. Um, so as we go to eight rounds, ten rounds, you know, he, you'll see him in, in you know, better performances and starting to stop people. But um, that's still mistakes. Still lots of stuff that we're working on because you know he's not called on the cobbles for nothing. He likes a fight, you know, and he love a fight with anybody. So um, my job is to try and just educate them a bit. Obviously, I never want to stop that excitement because that's, that's what he does and that's what people want to come and see. But I just need to refine them, just keep on refining them. But overall, really, really happy. Is that 5-0 now? Yeah, 5-0. Mm. A bit too much of a good fight though, for your liking? Uh, box him up for the first four. Now, I've actually got a bit of uh, cold coming on, so in the last, fifth and last, I felt a bit chesty, but got the rounds done, you know, it's the main thing. You no, know, I, I thought, you know, the, they, you know, everybody said referee great fight and all the rest, but I think it was a great fight because Lewis, Lewis made it a great fight. I don't think, you know, Saunders stayed upright and took the shot, but I think all the action was, was, coming, from, was coming from Lewis. Um, so, you know, I know what you mean by, you know, when people start saying, saying great fights and all this sort of stuff. Um, it was entertaining for I think friend. he made it, he made it entertaining. And that's, I never want to take that away. You know, I never want to, I never want to stop him. But I want to educate him a little bit into, into you know, keeping his, his left hand up, not, not hanging around to, to, to have a tear up. But um, we were happy with it when we robbed it. We were very happy with it. I thought he was done really well. Um, he's had, you can, he told me you know, he was having a cold one just before the fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the fifth round, he, he felt it. Yeah. Do you know what he said? But I thought he was, I thought his range of shots to weight yeah. box. Went to the body well. He's really mm. Actually, could have went to the in, in, more, in, I reckon. He could have went a little bit more, and there was a couple of times. Step off. There was a couple of times Saunders was badly hurt with the body shots, and I could tell. But Lewis, you know, inexperienced, couldn't quite tell, and didn't commit himself. But that 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 comes with that, that's experience, you know, and that's experience. And I guarantee you, when 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 Lewis Isaacs stops somebody, he'll then start stopping everybody because he, you know. It's getting that belief that your punches, and I know I put them on the pads and the body, but I know how hard he hits. And, you know, Saunders will tell you that, that that's painful, you know. So once he believe, once he knows and he's got belief in his power, the stoppages will start coming. Mm. Is Keith Gully going to get better? Because he grows with confidence when he's got confident people behind him. And he used to lack it. He's got, all he used to lack was a little bit of self-belief, but now, He's gonna, he, he is just so confident, I mean, and he's getting better, his range of shots. I mean, he ain't had that many fights, how many fights? Uh, Fifth one. Uh, yeah. I was saying, his range of shots, he, he looks like someone who's had 20 other fights. Yeah. That's in my, in, my, in my eyes, I mean, we've been in the game a long time. Yeah, yeah. And the way he has, you know, sort of improved every fight. Yeah, I'm, just getting, I'm just getting better every fight, I can feel it. And especially on the Glen, I'm improving every day in the gym. Every day inspiring when we get the rounds in. It's all coming on. Oh, we, have, we, we haven't, you know, to be honest, in, in, in training, we've barely, we barely stepped up a gear in training. I mean, I think he did, he did 14 rounds sparring for this fight. Because, you know, I don't want him taking, I don't want him taking shots in the gym for a, for a fight that he's going to win. Do you know what I mean? So, cool. so, so as we move up in class, then ev the training, everything will move up with it. I'm not just going to waste them as a, as a punch bag in the gym. So, you know, everything will start picking up as we go along. And you start to see the improvement coming with the better quality sparring and the better, the better work as we pick it up. But, you know, we've got to pick it up. It's, it's, it's step by step. You know, it's just little, it's one step at a time. Obviously, from Islington, how did this link up actually come about? Um, he found me in the gutter one day <laughs> and, and picked me up 
No, it came up, it came about because um, to one of our friends, Robert's friends as well, it came about. He said, um, "Young boy, he's had a, he's had a he's had a bit of heartache. He's had a, he's had a tough time. Um, Lewis has had a couple of you know, bad bereavements, and, and you know, it's, it's, and he was in a bit of a bad place. And um, a friend said, you know, can he come up and have a little weekend away to cheer him up a little bit? And that was about seven, eight months ago. <laughs> yeah. and, that, and that is what's made all the difference." Really, yes, because he's got no distractions. Glenn won't let Glenn will, you know, make sure he's in the right place. He's been training. I had a conversation with Glenn. He's, in, he's always in the gym. He never misses training. He's got no distractions whatsoever because the kid knows what he wants now. You know? Look, Lewis, what's it like working with a former world champion? It's great every day waking up. It's an uh, inspiration. <laughs> I thought you were going to say waking up next to him. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, boys, uh, it's inspiring. You know, what I mean, they've been there and done it, and that's what. That's my. It's only been my aim since a kid. Since every day, since a kid, is to be a world champion. That's all. I, that's all I want to be, and I want to do it for my my, uh, my sister and my girlfriend. I lost in 2017. I lost them both in a month. And I'm gonna do it all for them. Sorry to hear that. When do you want him out next? Uh, as soon as as soon as we get it, get him out, I'll be. That's down to Alfie. Uh, Alfie Warren looks after him. So um, you know, I'm, I'm in a great team. You know, we're on a great platform. You know, so if if we get him out as often as we can, it'll, you know, we'll make the we'll make the progression. And what I love is, you know, I, I once trained three Cubans, Perez, Mike Garcia. Perez. Yeah. yeah. I trained them, and they, I let, I'm probably the only person that's ever let go three world amateur champions and said I don't want to train them because they didn't have any commitment, dedication, determination. He's got it in the bountiful. So um, I couldn't ask for anybody better to train. All right, congrats on tonight, boys, and uh, we'll catch up soon. Thank you.